the National Auditor of the New Nigeria People's Party and Chairman of the Disciplinary Committee that recently expelled some high-ranking members of the party, Ladipo Johnson. Earlier, um, we know a, fact, a faction of the party, uh, of the New Nigerian People's Party, under the leadership of Major Agbo, expelled the presidential candidate of the party, Senator Rabiu Musa Kwankwa, so over what they called his alleged anti-party activities and misappropriation of the party campaign funds. Well, today we want to talk about um, what transpired in the party, and we have Ladipo Johnson, who is the auditor and chairman of the disciplinary committee with us in the studio. Mr. Johnson, you granted interviews over and over on this issue of the NMPP, even when it started. I remember the first time we had this issue where chairman of the different parties had said that they do not, no longer recognize Mr. Kwankwaso as their party flag bearer. I remember a headline uh, in one of the papers that said that he should stop parading himself as the leader of the party. Who are these members and who are the people you have now expelled? Are they the same people? Good evening. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Well, um, firstly, let me put on record that um, Rabbi Musa Konkozo was never suspended, neither was he expelled. Um, you had a group of renegade members, now former members, who gathered themselves in Lagos, in Akpapa, <laughs> and um, said that they had suspended um, Senator Konkozo, myself, and the National Working Committee. They claimed that they were the board of trustees of the party. Um, but um, look, we operate a constitution, and our constitution is subject to the Electoral Act, which is subject to the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. What actually happened was that um, two gentlemen were expelled right at the beginning of the saga, mm -hmm. and um, two states, the executive committees were dissolved. These two, uh, one of them ran to Dr. Anibunum, one of the founders of the party. I want you to put on record that Major Agbo announced the sus suspension and expulsion of these two men. Mm -hmm. The um, eight other states that had their executive committees dissolved, Major Agbo announced the same thing, right? Um, somewhere in between, unfortunately, Dr. Anibudam, being one of the founders, took it upon himself to um, write letters outside of the party to say he was reversing decisions that had been taken constitutionally by the National Working Committee and the National Executive Committee. And the National Working Committee felt that even if he was one of the founders, they couldn't take it any longer. And he was suspended hmm. along with Major Agbo. He had roles to play. Now, um, they gathered immediately after the suspension and said they suspended or they expelled the National Working Committee mm -hmm. and um, they suspended Senator Kwankozo. And then they purported to say that they had established a board of trustees and a National Working Committee. Now, once you do that, trying to establish um, a parallel, you're out, no matter who you are. And that's what happened. At, um, I think on the 29th of August, we had a National Executive Committee uh, meeting. Mm -hmm. It was um, attended by INEC. They had due notice, 21 days notice. It had in attendance the governor of Kano State, um, senators, members of House of Reps, the National Working Committee, um, and uh, members of the National Executive. The 36 state chairmen, I want to put on record that they're all, <laughs> they were all there. Okay. The yeah, 36 attended. state chairmen, mm -hmm. and the, the entire neck, except of course Major Agbo, who um, we still haven't replaced him with another um, publicity, national publicity secretary. Now what, I wonder why the press have never asked them. How do you go from complaining about your suspension within a week to saying that, oh, you are now a national chairman. You now have a faction. The definition of faction, and I've taken it up with a lot of members of the press who are my friends, 
uh, say concourse group. There is no concourse group where the. But what, but, but this, the this is one of the, the this is yeah. one of the issues that were being raised that yeah. was being raised that. Um, that Mr. Konkoso has decided uh, to make the NNPP some part of his no. Konkosia movement. No, 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 don't get it wrong. I'll tell you what's happening. Mr. Konkoso has not decided. When they were happy, when Konkoso came in in March 2022, he came in with the Konkosia, with the national movement, the TNN. Mm. You understand? They had an MOU with what we call the old NNPP. Mm -hmm. Old NNPP said, oh, let's keep 13 states. At that stage, 13 out of 36, isn't Kwankozo in the majority already? Mm. Yeah, it's because he has the people. Right? But does that mean so, that he owns the party? No, does he own the party now? He doesn't. No one owns the party. We the people. And that is the problem they have. The mentality is that, oh, it is our party. It cannot be your party. It's the party of every subscriber, everyone who is a member of the party. Mm -hmm. And that is why we said you cannot continue to act as if it's a one-man business. This is a bigger party now. Who did you know the NNPP before? It's been registered for 21 years or so. But when we came in, yes, within a year, we didn't do as well as we wanted to do, but we had a state, etc., etc., etc. It's on the map. Mm. So, we say to them, look, a faction is a group, a small group that comes out of a larger group. Mm. Now, you would have been a faction of the party if you had remained within the party. Mm. But now you have been expelled, so you are no longer a faction of the party. So, I think the press should address it properly. Major Agbo and his cohorts, or Anne Bunam and his cohorts, have a group. They claim that they are the real NNPP. And you have the national auditor of the NNPP here. Not Kwankozo's national auditor. National auditor of the NNPP. That's what it is. And we took them to court. We have a restraining order that they should stop parading themselves. If at the end of the day, the court says, oh, Give it back to them. Fine. Mm. You understand? But the bottom line is that the court has told them, stop parading yourselves. Come here, let's sort this thing out. That's yeah. what we want to do. We don't know you're just throwing, um, casting aspersions. Does Kwankwazo sell forms? They claim that there were forms sold up to they a about, They talked about misappropriation uh, of forms. But, but let's go back to the start. Um, let's talk about the relationship, the internal working relationships yes. between the party's flag bearer and, of course, the 16 other states that, you know, they were given. <laughs> even though it's still 13. No, even that. though, you know, uh, could there be a, a reason for the people, uh, it might not be all of them, but is there a reason for there to not be a sense of belonging? No, Hence this, is, this, this agitation. Is this is it. When you have an MOU, right, you want to work together. Does INEC care about an MOU? They don't. The MOU was bringing you together. Once you begin to have congresses, what they had at that time was that after the MOU, they dissolved all organs of the party, yeah. put in um, a caretaker committee, including people like Major Agbo, put them in. And they midwifed the congresses from ward to local government to states to zonal and then the national convention. Mm -hmm. So you had the party established under the constitution. So anything else you do must be under the constitution. The plethora of um, Supreme Court cases over the matter. And that's why I said, okay, let's go, let's come and sort it out. You don't now say that, oh, we had um, an MOU. You understand, unknown to um, the constitution, unknown to INEC, that these people will come and work with us. And since we said that they should hold on to how many states and we hold on to whatever states at the beginning, that is what it has to be. No. But that aside, no one was going after their, their states. Some of the states affected were some people were states led by Kwankwesia members. Mm -hmm. A lot of the states, in fact, more states were states um, led by Kwankwesia members. And they didn't perform during the elections. Mm. 
Some of the states were dissolved because the structures were not there. There was a state, the man was chairman, his wife was the woman leader. He also made his wife the um, House of Reps candidate. All just to collect money, election money. Some of the states, the money for agents got to them, they didn't disburse to the agents. Okay. Went away with millions. And you want us to keep looking at them? You see, that, that, that's the problem. In Nigeria, we're full sentiments in everything. And that's why we're where we are today. Mm -hmm. And I remember the same Dr. Ayebunam called me, called members of the National Working Committee. He set the whole thing up because himself and Senator Kwankozo met and agreed that, look, let's overhaul this thing. Let's get ready for the future. And we started looking at the states. Mm. It, it, just finally, before we go, because we're all out of time, yeah. uh, is, there are those who posit that there is the hand of Esau in all of this. Yeah, always. Uh, <laughs> uh, and you do know what I mean by that. Yes, I do. Do you agree that there might be the hand of Esau? Oh, yes, in this we matter? know for, for certain that, um, yes, we had problems here and there. But our friends who are no longer our friends, and I say they are no longer in the party, now have um, well-established, um, I will call them the opposition, in the country who are funding them. And at the end of the day, it's all about, oh, it's Kwonkozo, let's destabilize him because of Kano. It's always about Kano. Mm. Kano is the jewel, the jewel in... Um, in elections yeah. when it comes to elections in Nigeria. Mm. So that is that, but we will face them. We will do what we can. We are ready for the rule of law. We'll do what we can, and as soon as we can face them, and con then we continue to rebuild and move our party forward. Well, uh, here's to hoping that you move beyond Kanu. But well, Aladipo Johnson is the National Auditor and Chairman Disciplinary Committee in the New Nigerian People's Party, NMPB. Always a pleasure to have you in the studio. Thanks for having me. Thank all right. You. Well, that's the show tonight. I want to thank you all for being part of our conversations. We'll be back tomorrow talking for development. I am Mary Anna Kondu. Have a great evening. <laughs>